Hello and welcome back to another lesson. Um, in this lesson, we're going to do some uh, route protection in our Laravel 4 application. So let's take a look at uh, our code here. Um, when we look at the app routing module, uh, we see that we have uh, the uh, main uh, route uh, route we have the home route and the login route what we want to do is uh, whenever someone wants to go to the home uh, route uh, or any other route uh, if the person is not logged in uh, it should automatically take the person to the login page so uh, the user can log in and we can do this by uh, using guards angular guards now Fortunately, fortunately for us, us the Laravel Passport package that we are using uh, has a guide that helps with that. And uh, as the time of uh, this uh, video, it's is uh, at version zero point zero point six, so we can update our passport to Laravel version 6 and then uh, so there we go npm install and we should have it updated so we can use that uh, uh, guide implemented in the uh, package for us Okay, it should be done in a second. All right, now when we go into our app routing module, let's let's add uh, one other option to the home path called can activate, and I'm going to give it an array of uh, guards. So the guard that we are going to add is called lp or guard which comes from the laravel package so we add it to it let's add the same guard to the root here as well we have to also add something we have to add a data of uh, where it should go to that's uh, which uh, route it should go to um, when it uh, it's not logged in, which we can do by adding a data uh, object here and then add a login route, passing it where it should go to. So login, something like this. Now it's important that we add this because uh, it can cause some problems. For example, let's say um, if you don't add this and you've added another guard to, to let's say the login that if the person is logged in it shouldn't um, go they should go to maybe the uh, home page it, it will cause a problem to go to home page home page will tell it it's not logged in it will go to login login will say it's login then it caused this uh, redirect uh, problem so it's important that we add this here. All right, so let's see whether it works. Okay. So it seems that it's logged in. So what we're going to do is let's remove, let, let me remove the, uh, the local storage for uh, this. Uh, let's clear it, let's clear the local storage. All right. Yeah, so we shouldn't have anything with the Lava passports. Hmm, so we have a problem here. Saying that login is part of the declarations of two modules, both home page and login page. Let's fix that. So they say it's part of the login yeah so let's uh, hmm 
Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'll just what I'll just do is uh in our home module I'll remove the login from here and then uh we will instead of implementing the opening of a login page as um, as a model now is going to be uh, open or is going to be routed to when we are not logged in so there wouldn't be any need yeah so let me remove the uh, model here okay all right so um, now it's also not here so let's remove this as well and let's just say welcome all right so let's go back and see what happens all right it's working perfectly hmm huh. i think i've forgotten my email and password let's try um Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, problem. Yeah. Email. Hmm. Still unauthorized. These are credentials. Um. Hmm. Let me see. Still the same. Let me figure out the email and password I use and then come back. All right, I think I know the problem. It's my Gmail that I used. Uh, okay. Let's see. No, let's see. Uh, yeah and you're logged in now so what we will do again here is uh, let's go to the login and after uh, the login is successful we want to route back to the home page so let's uh, add a router so private router of type router from hmm, angular router and then it's a, if it's successful there's dot router dot hmm, navigate back to uh, the roots the home page now uh the navigate uh, function takes on uh, an array so past an array of uh, routes that it should go to so let's we, we give it the home page let's see what happens so let's do it again And that's it. It's here. Yeah, it's back to the home page. And we have our app working on. Now, let's just launch it like that and see. Yeah, it goes to the home page because we are logged. We are logged in. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Um, I think we can add a logout button. Uh, something here to log out. So let's go to the um, <clears throat> the yeah documentation and let's see toolbar. Let's see whether we can get some buttons. Okay, yeah. 
So this will do. No, this one should do. Let's copy and then put it there and make some changes to it. So, mm -hmm, mm. now let's change this to slot of icon only. And then with the button, I'm going to give it a all right uh, log out oh, let's see if it works um, well there we have it this is, this is pretty nice okay so let's add the um click event to it log out log out all right that is it and then let's go and uh, implement the log out function so log out we're going to use uh, the lava passport package service rather sorry okay and then I'm going to use it to log out so laravel log out and then after we've logged out we will also use the route to go back to the um login page here i'm going to use a uh, ionic uh nav controller so you see how to use both the ionic router and angular router so public uh, nav ctrl nav controller all right so this dot uh, nav Hmm, let's say navigate root. Let's pass in the string of login. And there we have it. So we should be able to log out. All right, and it's logged out. Let me remove this uh, close button from the login. All right. Now, let's log in and log out as many times as we can. Okay. Yep. And we can log out. We can log in. We can log out, we can log in, we can log out, we can log in and log out. So that's it. Well, in the next lesson, we will do uh, more advanced stuff with uh, Laravel and Ionic 4.